said that we're going to import most of the things and buying it abroad instead of producing it here in South Africa to ensure that there's effective economic development. During the budget votes debates in the past two weeks, Colleagues in this house raised concerns about the disorganization and confusion around the mini plenaries availability of documents and the failure to scrutinize proposed budgets. That should concern all of us and especially the many South Africans that are paying taxes and expecting better service from the government. It is concerning chair of the appropriation committee because it has never happened in the past 10 years serving in that committee. We are expected to scrutinize bills and budgets in that committee in three weeks that was supposed to be scrutinized within a month. If you will look at the records, you will see that we have actively done uh, public participation within hearings within that committee. In the past, the committee would receive briefings by departments of key programs, presentations by the FFCs and the budget committee office and thoughtfully engage. This has not happened this time, Honorable Maiman. We will even see in the past that we will, after we have uh, done this, Honorable Maiman, we will have even public hearings with the Congress of the South African Train Union, Equal Education, Public Service Accountability Monitor. But this time around, it have not happened, and you are standing here and you are approving a budget. Why? This time around, there's no explanation, no answers, no meaningful engagement with this proposed budget by the National Treasury. After public hearings, Honorable Maimani, you will, would have noticed we will call in National Treasury and scrutinize them on the findings that we have found. Blangini, please proceed. Welcome back, Honorable Maimani. It's a point of debate. We are agreeing to a budget of 600 million to Parliament when we cannot appoint much needed language translation, appointment legal researchers, and to assist members with private members' bill and cannot maintain the building to meet proper safety and health standard requirements. We are agreeing to a budget cut of 367 million to the Department of Home Affairs when Home Affairs offices are not accessible because they are largely in major cities and not in the rural areas. We are agreeing to a budget cut of 1.1 billion to the Department of Public Works as budget when government departments are serving in dilapidated buildings and construction industry is retiring people daily. What are we agreeing to um, on this budget? We are agreeing to a budget of the cut of the Chief Justice budget, agriculture and rural development's budget, employment and labor's budget, when we don't have inspectors and a budget cut of 1.1 billion to our people's housing, and the people were promised 1 million houses in Alexander still today. It's not there, but we are cutting that budget. We must, again, uh, state it very clear here. Us objecting to this budget is not saying that we are objecting to services, like the ANCs will come after this and state this. We are objecting to the process on how this process was handling. We don't say our people must not get services. We are objecting to this budget because not proper scrutinization was done in bringing up all of these entities and departments. But we know some of them are just here today in their numbers as voting cattle because they want to spend this money. They have commitments that they have done during the, local gov during the national government elections. So they need to pay those uh, uh, businesses that they are coming here to do it to vote for that money. We do know that. We will see when we are opening again parliament, they won't be here because we are not... Uh, approving to the, to the appropriations budget, uh, Deputy Pre President. I hope when we are doing questions and answers to all of these portfolios of these ministers, they are here in their numbers, as they are here today, to vote for an appropriations bill to, in order to use and steal our people's money. I must say that we reject this thing. <laughs>